right, so like I was saying, the tank is all the way on this rubber grommets as far as it goes over there, and it's going to be raised slightly from this end as well. That doesn't mean that much of a difference, but you will. And at the moment, on the full lock towards the left, it's hitting with this mount and full lock towards the right. Doesn't even hit the the mount over there. It hits no, okay. The handlebar hits over here, but the handlebars won't be this one. Will be different. But this is also I don't know if you can see this. This is also uh, dangerously close, and I'm guessing this part. I'm guessing this will also be uh, not clearing the petrol tank. So I need to move it towards the back. I need to move it enough uh, for it to clear full log of the uh, handlebars. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it as much as, it's, as much as it goes. Because at the moment it's fully on there. So full on position is here. So I need to move it close enough far enough for it no not that far obviously but far enough to clear to clear the um, special tank so I need to go a bit further right Moving it this much gives me about um, about a uh, half an inch, maybe not even that. So I probably want to go a little bit further than that. And how's the other side? The other side. If I move all these cables all the way, yeah, it's full log and it gives about yeah the width of that cable, which is about half an inch. Clear on this bolt over there. So I need to move it a bit further than this, so at the moment, same spot, we are there and we are here, probably need to move it slightly a bit more, we got this stage, yeah, that's probably what I want, and spot number three, would be here and here. Let's have a look how much we need to move it for. Yeah, that's about three and a half, three, three and a half centimeters. centimeters. Yeah, let's say three and a uh, Three and a bit, so just uh, just over an inch. And looking at this tab over here, from a center to center, I will need to move right over here. Um, funny enough, looking at that inside, where I move this bad boy from the other end, the rubber bit. That's actually um. What Yamaha did over here, they put a tube, a steel tube, all the way through. That is actually a tube, there's not just a little bit sticking out. That is actually a tube sticking, you can see my my hand over there and my finger. That's actually a tube all the way through the uh, width of the frame, which is quite beefy from the top. But it's um, it's a steel tube. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off, because otherwise I won't be able to put it so close to this one. Um, maybe not cut half of it, or maybe you could just cut half of it off and grind the rest off, I don't know. And I've got the other tube over there, I'm just going to cut tiny bits like uh, this much, which is about half an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch. And uh, and weld it over here. I'll try to anyway. <laughs> I'm sure that will be more than strong enough just to support the petrol tank. But yeah, um, I need to do some more measuring, more detailed measuring, and I'll, uh, and I'll take it from there.
So after some um, extra measuring and double checking, remember, <laughs> measure twice, cut once. Um, these uh, little tabs should go over here, which is about uh, three centimeters from the original position towards here. I'm going to try to keep them on the same level because I like the petrol tank the way it is. Right, so these are a uh, quickly tack weld, just one single tack weld over here, just so I can make sure the tank fits as I want it to be. Um, I cut this off so I can put the rubber bang on it, as it is, in the end of the day, a perfect way really to mount the petrol tank, give you some uh, uh, vibration resistance, you know, when the motor is spinning up and down, going over the bumps. Same on the bottom side, you got this rubber mount, which I'm going to reuse. I'm going to reuse that to. Uh, Oh, get off to mount over here for the uh, back of a petrol tank but let's have a look how it fits uh, how it fits now so it goes in okay no issues there so far and this is as far as it will go Perfect clearance, or both angles. However, however, there's a there's a small issue. Don't know if you can see this, <coughs> but because we moved it slightly back, this gap, which is the same height as it was before, but because it's slightly back, the gap seems much bigger right now. Uh, before it was closer to uh, to the steering column, now it just uh, well probably uh, like three centimeters, two and a half, probably an inch away that gap, and that creates this gap over here. And I know for sure there's plenty of room underneath the petrol tank for uh, for anything uh, that I need to mount in there, really. Um, so. I'm not quite happy with that gap over there. I think I'm gonna take him off these little bags and drop it down about just the length of it probably. Don't wanna go too much. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Definitely, I'm gonna do that because they can go slightly lower. There's, there's more room to have it done, so I'm gonna just take it off and drop them slightly lower to so reduce that gap between the uh, the frame and the, and the petrol tank over there. And this is the reason why you tack weld things first. Don't go crazy and weld all around it, because right now I'll be in a, a lot of trouble trying to grind this off. One tag weld could be broken off with uh, pliers. Let's let's do this again. There we go. Uh, just 15 minutes later, the gap is much sorry. The gap is much smaller. Um, this is the best you can can get. So I was measuring in and off, in and off, and. Uh, if I drop any lower, uh, the, the mounting points will not pass the uh, thicker part of the frame. But that's about uh, half an inch lower, half an inch lower than it was, and uh, I can live with this. Uh, it's okay, once I drop the handlebars over here, it won't be much uh, visible of a difference. And the tongue will go slightly up, so again that gap will close down by another half an inch, because I need to be lifted from the back. About this much so uh, it's all making slowly sense now uh, again just a couple of uh, let me show you take it off just a couple of tag welds in there over here but I'll uh, weld it all around and then uh, just clean it up a little bit so make a semi decent job out of it and uh, that would be the front of the petrol tank done 
now I need to create the mount on the back probably something like in a like a bridge over here uh, with a one or two mounting points um, let's see if we can uh, if we can mock it up